Hello everybody, here we go with take two of the live stream where I am sure now the sound is okay because I have not got my microphone on mute. So, Dios mio, oh my god, I cannot believe I've done that. But there you go, this is this is because I'm a trader, not a professional streamer. Uh, so, there we go. Uh, so, as I was speaking for about five minutes there before I saw the uh, stream of <laughs> notifications that I hadn't even started the stream, how embarrassing. Um... Please, please, someone can just confirm to me that they can hear this okay right now, because that would be absolutely brilliant if someone can just confirm that for me. Um, here or over in the chat, I suppose. Um, and then I will begin with this quick stream. I'm just going to go over some of the trades from today, because I truly believe you're, you're not going to see a better trade than I've taken today. And it was two. It was longing uh, the bottom of the day so far, shorting the top of the day. Ugh. I, I just don't even know what to say. Like, you are not going to see a better trade than this. So I have to cover it for you. I'm just I'm just excited to cover it for you because it was just perfection. Perfection indeed. So you can get into my brain what I was thinking. All clear. Absolutely brilliant. So let's go over what was happening then. Um, so, 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 so. We obviously, let's cast our mind back to this morning, okay? So let's cast our minds back. OK, um, I had a plan somewhat last night when we were sat at around 7.7k to ladder up to the monthly resistance. OK, um, obviously laddering a short up to monthly resistance, I was expecting a pullback. I cancelled that plan last night uh, thinking, you know, there's no I don't want to ladder into this position. Basically, it was as simple as that. So what I done this, all last night, I cancelled all my laddered orders. And instead, I placed alerts. Again, this was all covered in the Champions group chat. Okay, just go back and search through my posts. It was all covered last night. I put on my alerts for the monthly. I had a key level. And above this, I had a weekly. Um, those were my three key levels. So I had alerts on all of them. This morning at around 6 a.m., <laughs> I had my first alert go off at the monthly level, okay? And <laughs> I'm a guy that normally wakes up about around midday. Uh, so, yeah, I had my alert going off, going off at 6.30 this morning around this sort of time and i was presented with uh this okay so again i'll go through the post so you can see like what i was looking at this morning um <clears throat> but basically it was along this sort of lines okay so i was looking waiting for the top of the channel 9425 and we obviously hit that got a little bit of a pullback and then i sculpted off the top of the channel my average entry was 9412 so 9412 entry of that position Again, at the moment, in the time, I was expecting it to be more of a, a sculpt trade rather than a swing trade, which I've kind of let it go into here. But yeah, entry 9,412. Okay, from this, we uh, we did pull back a little bit. So if we go down onto the 15 minute. So, okay, we did get our first pullback. And off of our first pullback is where I took my first take profit. And then for the rest of the day, I've let this go. I'm going to try and let it go into a swing trade now, if I'm honest with you. But I did hit my take profit one originally, okay, which was the entry trigger for this setup off of this low, okay. We did get the reaction from this, but as you can see, what happened in the end on this lower term time frame, what did you get here? You had this one was a head and shoulders. This one was a really, really nice head and shoulders because of the fact you had the volume profile really, really perfect. Okay, so what do you see? Big sell-off on the left shoulder, the increase in price on the head on bearish volume, increase in uh, volume as well on the right shoulder here. So it was just, this technically is a really nice head and shoulders. It's very, very, very rare that you get such a head and shoulders technically uh, like this. So, I mean, generally, I always counter trade head and shoulders, but this was a nice one because of the context. Okay, so the context is you're massively overbought. Everybody has given up kind of join. And it was just a nice area to look for, for, a, for a potential short. Okay, and obviously, I got in that 9,412, took my first take profit here. In the end, we just come up to this and we done a support into resistance. Very nice indeed. And the, continue, the sell off continued. Where did we go down to just, just now? We hit a low of 8,407. Okay, so 8,407, that's a 1,000% move in the day. Oh, absolutely brilliant. What, what's so nice about this one is we were longing 9,000, well, my long entry anyway was 9,490, give or take a few dollars. Uh, 9,490 for a long trade, okay? So that's shorting high of the day, longing the low of the day. What are we coming up into now? We're coming up into some key levels, which I'll cover. But that is a short from the highs, long from the lows. So what was the theory behind the long, okay? So this was a bit of a funny one. So obviously the reasons I was shorting up here, just to get this correct for everybody, I was shorting off the top of the channel, okay? So we were coming into the top of the channel. We had monthly confluence. We had if we zoom down here, we had bearish divergences, okay? So we had bearish divergences over here. 
as you can see across all the time frames really big bearish divergences on this last leg up so you had bearish divergences here this isn't the macd but nevertheless it's a very similar indicator that i use but we had macd across oops, sorry we had bearish divergences across both indicators we had bearish divergences on uh, volume and we had bearish divergences on delta everything coming together for really big bearish divergences on this rise so you know naturally it was a good you know in the context of the trade it was a good you know very good trade indeed and why did i take this long down at the lows so this is another one where you can get into my head um where i was saying uh what was my post as i was saying this because basically I've, I've recorded it all in the group today so you could have easily gone in with this but my posts were uh what were we looking at head and shoulders uh, oh yeah, I remember what I typed. Um, so this is what I was looking at for this head and shoulders. So then we had this head and shoulders going on, okay? Uh, where everybody was looking at this head and shoulders. And I was saying, um, you know, first you had bullish CVD divergences. As you know, when I post about bullish CVD, bullish CVD divergences, they've had a 100% strike rate. I've not posted about CVD divergences, which have not played out. Just remember that. So we had 100% strike rate on it. So we had bullish CVD. We also had everybody looking at the head and shoulders pattern. This was now really obvious because a lot of people are looking at it. Okay, so the head and shoulders is really obvious. I would be surprised if it trades out. Normally make more money counter trading them and kind of hinting what I was doing. If you're a super savage trader, which I am, then you're going to be buying the break, the neckline breakdown. E.g., when you break the neckline, okay, so this is what you were looking at at the time. When you break the neckline, that's where a savage trader is going to buy that literally doesn't care and wants to wreck everybody. And so what were we doing? We were buying this. So uh, basically, you're looking for that neckline break. This was just as then, you know, then it turns into a swing failure pattern. So just as you, you know, just as you're getting above this, it's just a long screaming at you long all day long. And then obviously, yeah, here we hit first, uh, you know, well, we've just continued up from here. What did we also have on this? We were also looking at the uh, trapped shorts at the lows. So I was posting about these trapped shorts as well. Oh, I can't remember what I posted now. Um, I think I was typing about it, the expected. Yeah. So look at this. Look at this. It was absolutely insane. So you had all these trap traders down at 8,400. So we were just getting loads of people market short in 8,400. It was just incredible. And it was just leaning up so good probabilities that we're going to push up higher. With everybody shorting, look at this market shorts. Okay. So people market shorting 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 1 million, 1 million, 4 million, 1 million, 2 million, 2 million, 1 million, 1 million, 1 million, 3 million, 8 million. You know, just crazy amounts of market shorting going on at the lows people are going to get absolutely wrecked so this is what an opportunity for put price to push higher it's just screaming at you what are we happening right now we're still pushing up higher i mean it's just lovely 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 technical trading that is how ladies and gentlemen you short highs pretty close to the blimming top and then now that's how you long the lows pretty close to the bottom of the chart so yeah it's been a brilliant day indeed it really has i don't think that I don't think there's a better trader than me, to be honest. Um, it's been an insane day. Obviously, the Chart Champions Challenge that we're also doing. This is a 0 0.01 to 1 Bitcoin challenge. Today, I started this challenge. And here you go, ladies and gentlemen. A 30% account increase in a day. That's pretty insane, if you ask me. 30% of an account increase in one single day that is absolutely insane and that is what you get from shorting the highs long in the lows um pff, yeah incredible really 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 incredible trading right there um pff, yeah insane it really kind of it really is so uh yeah there you go and that is how you absolutely kill those shots and um yeah where that leaves us now uh, yeah if i'm honest with you i see that we have a lot of trap shorts at the lows i would like to see price push into around well if we're looking at this okay so where would i like to see push price into so we're looking at now there 9150 i believe that we have got a new point of control coming in right here um just insane so yeah maybe we're looking up to the point of control next around 8850 okay so 8850 would be your next target area i've already taken well on that challenge count as you saw i've already closed out of the long on this one because on this one i closed out of it fully at 8725 so obviously we're now at 8750 i'm really not bothered there if i'm honest with you uh but yeah on that one, I closed out fully. So, um, yeah, where are we, where would I be expecting this push into next? I guess our point of control here. It's a pretty big, pretty big level. Uh, so around eight thousand eight hundred and fifty. If we claim this, then I'm going to be looking up to around nine k again. If I'm honest, um, and yeah, that has been today's trades. That's how thirty percent account crease in a day, uh, shorting the high, pretty much. Uh, 
very close to the highs and longing pretty close to the lows. And that is the thought process behind that trade. Why I was longing the uh, longing the neckline breakdown. Whereas you know, average persons shorting here, as you can you know evidence in the absolute evidence in the charts, people were shorting this breakdown. Um, I don't know whether to share some of the counter traders. Um, I could always edit this out, but I'll, I'll, I'll try and find the. Uh, I'll try and find that basically there's this guy that I love to counter trade and he posted the this head and shoulders pattern he posted the head and shoulders pattern and and straight away I just thought oh my god this is going to work out so well I'll try and find him um it's because I have this I have this thing and I, I it's, it's only going to show up on my phone it's honestly only going to show up on my phone but basically I'm going to I'm going to show you it because it's absolutely hilarious and I was already thinking this before this happened okay before th this post came out and then I saw him post about oh here we go I'm going to try and make it as like hidden as possible so you don't actually know who it is but um, there's the I'm not sure if you can even see this but it was just for me absolutely hilarious I don't even think you can see that but there he is posting a head and shoulders chart. I saw this, honestly, and I just, my eyes lit up like, oh my God, I'm, I'm longing this all day long. You know, this guy's posting about the head and shoulders. Pfft, uh, this is going to be easy money. <laughs> and naturally, yeah, absolutely. Everybody that tried to trade that head and shoulders right there, absolutely wrecked. There we go. Hitting set 8,790. I mean, pfft, yeah, insane trading. I'm sorry if you're not finding this one too technical, but yeah, pfft. I just absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I must admit. So yeah, that, that's technical trading for you there today. Shorting the highs from technical reasons, technical technical confluences. So we've seen a lot of confluences at those highs. We had five different confluences. At these lows, we had the psychology coming into effect here. Okay, seeing people wanting to trade a pattern, not expecting it to play out. You are also coming into a pretty you know, an area where one can definitely expect a bounce coming into this sort of 618. It's kind of debatable where you're going to take this from. But as you can see here, you've got a slight front run here of the... Um of the 618 but nevertheless one is expecting a bounce off of that in the end i'll show you exactly where you kind of got it from if i just delete everything and do this really really simply resistance support simple as that really to be honest so you had a lot of confluence too long here people also just aggressively shorted the lows absolutely wrecked um yeah that's how you trade that is how you make money that's how you grow an account there you go ladies and gentlemen uh, evidence right is literally in the pudding this was a challenge account as you all know in yesterday's live stream was announced 30 percent in a day um laid out for you all that i was shorting up here laid out the plan of why i was looking to long down here all in advance traded it executed it made money simple as that and uh, there you go really how am i expecting this to trade out now ultimately is this going to be an amazingly big high i don't know to be honest it can definitely still push on higher from here i'm, I'm not um i'm not overly confident that this is is a high we, we can definitely push on higher from here i'm not going to say that this has to be the high uh, i guess i'll wait to see how monthly close goes tonight 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 is monthly close so you know we got another um, three and a half four hours left of monthly close so I'll, I'll wait i suppose until until three and a half hours time and four and a half hours time apologies and i'll wait for the monthly close we'll see where this monthly actually closes okay that's going to be very telling um you know i expect to get some good volatility going into it really so um yeah a quick update here to explain to you those trades that i took today how absolutely amazingly brilliant they were <laughs> my ego is probably flying through the roof that's coming through you know i i think that is it's able to be backed so it's okay and uh yeah that's how you that's how you trade literally so um you know we got the monthly close tonight again that's a very very important close expect some volatility going into it at the end of the day we can just remain range bound uh you know this is going to be a big resistance do we claim this then yeah then we're probably looking up to it that this sort of lows around 9150 again if we're honest if we reject off of this yeah then it obviously is still leaning into these lower highs i would expect some liquidity to be taken possibly with a wick but um you know there you go <laughs> there you literally go so um yeah brilliant trading once again uh once again like yeah just uh, incredible isn't it so uh yeah i hope you've enjoyed this one i just wanted to give this quick update talk you through those trades that i've took uh give a give a little bit of an insight i suppose the level to be looking at next literally just look at that point of control that's all you need to be aware of right now i do think if you also long those lows with me you have to be taking profits right now i've personally closed out at a long i'm more than comfortable opening long higher again if if given the chance once i've seen a bit more evidence you know off of this lower high and lower low structure you know you can get greedy on on shorts because essentially you're kind of like in a little bit of a hedge on the longs but you never want to get too greedy on a on a long because um you know if you go down and you are losing bitcoin and usd value you know this is how i like to trade anyway so i'm never so aggressive on longs but um yeah there you go um yeah hope that this quick video was helpful explaining you through the trades what the confluences were at these highs what the confluences were at those lows and how perfectly it 
did trade and also the importance of patience okay so i could have been trying to trade in the middle of this right here and you know there's no good probabilities there okay so what do we want probabilities okay we're seeing five different confluences at the height it's worth the scope at the very least okay obviously i let this run into a bit of a swing trade and just show that that was still open okay and um where was that okay yes yeah, so obviously we're hitting this while well, price was still down around 8400 incredible incredible trade but um yeah and then obviously yeah that was obviously from the head and shoulders from the low and now where this is going it's probably to the point of control here so that's most likely anyway then we can just wait and react off the reaction of this there's no point in predicting uh if we're going up to new highs while we're still below this point of control so let's see the reaction off of this let's take it one step at a time let's just keep this going keep this nice and uh yeah hope that you've enjoyed this quick video i'm gonna go back and trade <laughs> cheers everybody thank you have a brilliant day i'll catch you uh in the chat i'll be around and uh yeah enjoy trading the um enjoy trading the 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 monthly close tonight it's gonna be brilliant cheers everybody thanks and bye cheers